Let's take a look at the fractions, decimals and percentages questions. Uh, now these are all non-calculator with the exception of question 6, 12 and 13. So question 1 we need to fill in this table uh, below. Now let's just look at the decimals and percentages first of all. Now remember to go from a decimal to a percentage you multiply by 100. To go from a percentage to a decimal you divide by 100. So 0 0.25, that's the decimal. To turn it into the percentage, we're multiplying by 100, so that is 25%. 0 0.2 multiplied by 100 is 20%, and 0 0.4 multiplied by 100 is 40%. Let's look at the percentages into decimals. 75% is a decimal, divide that by 100, that is 0 0.75. And if you're struggling to divide by 100, well, you can always take your cue from, um, for example, the 50% going to 0 0.5. Maybe that will help you. 10% divided by 100 is 0 0.1. And we have these columns filled in. Now, 50%, hopefully you know that that is one half. Another way you could see it is, well, 0 0.5, that's a decimal with one decimal place. So that is tenths. And 5 tenths, that will simplify to one half if you divide both the top and the bottom by five. So that answer is one half. 0 0.4, we can do the same thing. We can remember that 0 0.4 is four tenths. And if we simplify that by dividing top and bottom by two, because we have two even numbers, then that will simplify to two fifths. And uh, this is a bit of an unusual question. You would rarely write the number one um, as a fraction, but one as a fraction is one whole. So one over one. Moving on to question two, we are converting, uh, well, in question two, we're converting a percentage to a decimal, so we need to divide by 100. 45 divided by 100 is 0 0.45. 0 0.05 to a percentage, well, here we need to multiply by 100, and 0 0.05 multiplied by 100 is 5%. 0 0.7 to a fraction, well, the decimal has one decimal place, therefore we are talking in tenths. So that is 7 tenths. Just take a quick look though to see whether you can simplify it or not. And uh, 7 tenths cannot be simplified. So that is our final answer here. And 90 one hundredths. Um, well, first of all, we can simplify this if we want. Um, and I suggest that we do that. Probably a good idea. Um, 90 over 100 is the same as 9 over 10, 9 tenths. And remember that when we're dealing with tenths, that means we are dealing with a decimal with one decimal place. So that is 0 0.9. The original question though was in hundredths. Now, if it's hundredths, we're talking about a decimal with two decimal places. So we could write 90 one hundredths as 0 0.90. But this zero on the end is not doing anything useful. So that's why we take it off. We could have a number of zeros on the end. Again, we're not changing the value of this number. All these zeros are doing nothing. So if you write it as 0 0.90, that's correct, but just get rid of the zero because it's much tidier as 0 0.9. So question number six, we can use a calculator. Now to convert a fraction into a percentage, it's top divided by bottom multiplied by 100. Now this is quite a curious example because uh, it's a top heavy fraction. The number on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom. Um, so what this means is this will convert to a percentage that is greater than 100%. Usually when you're converting um, a fraction to a percentage, it's a smaller number on top. For example, 18 over 47, just for, as a completely random example. Again, top divided by bottom times 100. Uh, but that since this is less than the full amount, imagine if you got that on a test. Um, that's not the full amount. It's less than 100%. Whereas here, well, obviously you couldn't get this score in a test, it's impossible, uh, but we it will be greater than 100%. So anyway, on the calculator, 65 divided by 50 multiplied by 100, that is 130%. 7 to 11, we're back to non-calculator, so 55% to a fraction. Well, remember that percent means out of 100. So 55% means 55 out of 100. So there it is as a fraction, but this fraction can be simplified. If we divide the top and the bottom by five, both these numbers are in the five times table, uh, what are we gonna get? Well, 55 divided by five is 11, and 100 divided by five is 20, so that is our final answer. Question eight, which is greater 90% or 0 0.85? Now, when you're comparing a mixture of fractions, decimals, and percentages, 
I always recommend my students to convert everything into percentages. So let's turn this decimal into a percentage. Now decimal percentage to percentage means you need to multiply by 100. 0 0.85 times by 100 is 85 percent, which is greater. Well, 90 is definitely greater than 85, so that is the greater number. Question nine is a bit of a weird one. Um, so what I would do, especially since we can't use a calculator, um, but five over four, uh, I'm gonna convert that into a mixed number. How many, um, if you ate five quarters of a pizza, which would be a very strange thing to say, that would be the same as one pizza, which has four quarters and another quarter. So one and one quarter. So five divided by four is one with one remaining. Now one quarter, hopefully you know that a quarter is 0 0.25 as a decimal. So one and a quarter is 1.25. So we're comparing 1.25 and 1.3. And if you're struggling because you're a bit confused because there's two numbers here and there's only one here, then put a zero to make this 1.30. You've not changed its value, but maybe it's now a bit more obvious that this is greater than 1.25. So therefore 1.3 is greater than five over four. 9 over 20, well, I'm going to convert that into a percentage. Now, remember that a percent is a, um, a fraction which is out of 100. Percent means out of 100. So 9 out of 20, I'm going to convert that into an equivalent fraction out of 100. So to boost a 20 to 100, we multiply by 5. So for an equivalent fraction, I need to multiply the top by 5 as well. 9 times 5 is 45. So 9 twentieths is 45%. 0 0.5, that's the decimal. To turn that into a percentage, multiply it by 100, so that is 50%. Now clearly 50% is greater than 45%, so 0 0.5 is greater than 9 twentieths. Question number 11, a bit easier, 15% and 0 0.2. Well, this is a decimal, so if I multiply that one by 100, I'll turn it into a percentage, which is 20%. 20% is obviously greater than 15%, so 0 0.2 is greater than 15%. For questions 12 and 13, we can use a calculator again, which is fantastic news. So all I'm going to do for 12 is convert 17 twentieths into a percentage. Um, so all we need to do is top divided by bottom multiplied by 100. So 17 divided by 20 multiplied by 100. That is 85%. 85% is obviously bigger than 80%. So 17 twentieths is greater than 80%. Question 13. Um, I'm going to convert 26 out of 40 into a percentage. Remember, fraction to percentage top divided by bottom multiplied by 100. So 26 divided by 40 multiplied by 100. That is 65%. That is less than 70%. So therefore, 70% is greater than 26 fortieths.